Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and greetings to Miss Farah Basri. We are from Group 20 for the course LPE 2301. And now today we are going to conduct a group discussion on cyberbullying. So our focus is more to peers should pay play a more important role in tackling cyberbullying. So what is your view? Before we do our group discussion, uh, let us first introduce ourselves. Let's start from Aida. Hello, my name is Aida Izati Benti Mahiza and my metric number 201318. Uh, good day, my name is Nur Shahira Binti Razali and my metric number is 201234. My name is Nurul Shahzana Binti Muhammad Jeffrey, metric number 200414. My name is Nusha Zwani Binti Zubay and my metric number is 200848. And my name is Nora Tika Binti Muhammad Asri and my metric number is 200822. So, now we were going to begin our discussion. So, does anyone know what cyberbullying means? I would like to explain the meaning of the cyberbully. Okay. So as you know, uh, cyberbully, or well known as the online bully, it has become increasingly common among the people, especially to the teenagers, as the technology has been advanced nowadays. Yes. So uh, almost everyone in this world has their own social media, right? Yes. Like uh, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, maybe. Uh, yeah, what's that also? Uh, this is uh, to connect uh, us with, uh, with the people around the world. But the cyber bully can be played from this platform because when someone harass others on the internet, like posting the bad rumors, uh, tweets, uh, and spreading the victim's uh, personal information, or maybe uh, spreading the hate speech to the others. So this victim uh, may face some uh, some bad effects such as a lower self esteem and also a variety of negative emotional response, including depression, anxiety, uh, yeah, frustration, angry, and others. Oh, so that is a good definition there. Yes. Okay. Before that anyone wants to mention what his and uh, what, what her no. point of view on this okay. from my point of view on the peers should play more important role in tackling cyberbullying is uh, we can give an advice to the bully and remind them to stop their action this is because some of the bully might not realize they are overdoing bullying hardship or could hurt other feeling white on online so therefore, by reminding them, I think the bullish could aware of the, uh, their wrong action and do some self-reflection. Although the chance for them to drastically change is low, I think it's okay to give a try. However, as far as I can see in social media, people tend to defend victims of cyberbullying by attacking the cyberbully back. I mean, is it beautiful to see the edge of defending victim? But some of them uh, overly do and tend to bully the bully back. For example, uh, a bully is attacking a person by body shaming. Uh -huh. And then uh, they doesn't come and uh, defending the victim uh, by attacking back the bully mm -hmm. by body shaming him back. Uh -huh. So this uh, cycle will never end. So I think it's, I believe it's, it's, Mm, it's, we must uh, advise, uh, giving a good advice and remind them. Uh, like uh, our religion taught us, uh, we need to advise our friend because human tends to do yeah. lots of mistakes. Yes, I agree with that. Okay, anyone want to add? Mm, I think you're right about that. So, um, for uh, from my point 
of view. Um, as we know, cyberbullying can cause a decline in like your performance, right? Can cause physical violence and also uh, even suicide. Yes. So, um, as a good friend, when I know my friend gets uh, bullied, I will always be uh, be there for him or her. So, um, I will. Sorry. Okay. 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 Um, because uh, because those who are being bullied often feel hunted or unsure of themselves. Talking to them, inviting them to spend together with us, and otherwise being a friend can help them feel better about the situation. So um, I believe that victims are at a greater risk for depression. Therefore, it is critical that uh, someone should know that they do not have to handle cyberbullying alone because uh, they always have friends that understand them. Yeah, yeah. How about you? <laughs> okay, I agree with both of you, but uh, I want to share my own opinion. Okay, I think um, the very important role in this tackling cyberbullying is parents because nowadays, uh, internet uh, users is usually uh, younger children. In 2007, uh, Australian Communication and Media Authority said that 81% of uh, children in this year, 8 to 15 years old, use internet. So, more than half. So, I think parents uh, is a good, important role to tackle cyberbullying. They can monitor uh, the internet usage uh, at home and also um, limit the time using the internet. Um, and I think um, parents can also check their site that which is uh, not appropriate for their children. Uh, uh, for example, YouTube. And we, as we know, YouTube has uh, YouTube for children, so they can use the uh, technology. Uh, and also, I think um, uh, parents nowadays have to be aware about this topic because some children uh, do not want to share with parents because they, they think it is private. So parents have to be uh, kind uh, and soft-hearted to hear about what their children problems. So they have to communicate well with their ch ch children. So uh, that is my point. So what about you, Nora? Uh, I do. Partly agree with you, but yeah, yeah. don't you think children now say it's private enough to manipulate their parents? You know, they can change their password, they can use the incognitive website yeah. and hide their history of doing such things. Can you give more deep uh, point about that? About that, yes. Okay, so about the children having secretive to their parents mm -hmm. in ways that they do not like the kids platform, the kids channels. It's boring. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's boring. And it's not like uh, they can hide the password forever, the parents. And nowadays, do you know the Google Chrome, they have the incognito website, yes. the black one. Yeah. And that website, especially, specifically, can hide our, what, you know, history. So parents would not know what we are doing. And maybe children will going to be more prone to do cyberbullying, harassing others about what they think, what the others are doing wrong, the celebrities, what they should do and should not. But, okay. I almost there. Uh, yeah, uh, I actually agree with you. That I stand for the uh, fears play more important role in, uh, in cyberbullying, help the friends in cyberbullying. This is because uh, 
best friend uh, you can give the encouragement and also the support to your friend because sometimes uh, we feel more comfortable to share our talk our feelings uh, with uh, the same age like us uh, so that friend if you know that uh, your friend has been bullied, cyber bullied. Mm -hmm. So uh, you should uh, help them uh, to overcome it. For example, like uh, help them to find a new hobby, uh, such as art or, or maybe uh, playing uh, sports, uh, sports, and also music. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it can help them to feel better. And also uh, expand their social uh, network. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, maybe you can encourage them to join the club uh, so that their communication skill will improve, yeah. right? Uh, and the others. So, other than that, maybe we can give some advice to them to unplug themselves from uh, in the social media so that they will have a rest from the social media. I totally agree with that. And from my point of view, I do agree with the statement that peers should play an important role in overcoming these cyberbully problems. Okay. I'm saying this because news gossip spread fast like mushroom that goes after rain. <laughs> Teenagers and adults nowadays are more prone to spread things among them within within their group members, their group whatsapps. So personally, personally, I really think peers are a great influencer on someone's behavior. Okay. So they should show a good attitude with their friends. Don't, don't gossip, don't do body shaming like I just said just now. And give advice to their friends so that they do don't do things such like giving malicious comments on other social medias such like the influencer or the celebrities and stuff. And recently I heard the news that Sunni's bad things the South Korean idol. Do you catch on? Yes. Oh yes. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> yes. Some of you know, some of you know. Okay. This that was shocking the whole world. Netizens and fans from all around the world are set with this news. It was unexpected at all. They thought uh, uh, she can still survive uh, before this. With some, you know, onion. Okay, so this leads the cyberbully and other keyboard warriors, warriors to hit things up that make people furious about it. They say that she really deserved to die. Like, yeah, why you don't die in early, earlier? Okay. Which is why the South Korean lawmakers will be proposing a bill in her memory, respectful title, Sully's Act, during the National Assembly in December, as according to Metro. The Act aims to tackle online trolling and eradicate online violence, which Sully and other artists have and still experience. So that is my point of view. Uh, I want to interrupt. Uh, when I heard uh, all of your guys' point, uh, I think I will change my stance oh. to fear. To fear it, uh, have important role in tackling cyberbullying because, uh, as we know, peers. Uh, uh, as you know, we have as uh, peers have different character at home and school. outside. Yeah. Outside. So, um, peer itself have to more conscious about these um, problems. problems and awareness. Okay, so we've come to the conclusion that peers should play a more important role in tackling cyberbullying. So that is all from us. Thank, Thank you. you.